Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and in this course we're going to be diving into the wonderful world of networking by way of the URL session. Networking is a deep topic with lots and lots of things to consider. There are a variety of network protocols and proxies with edge cases for each of them. In order to provide a seamless experience, you need to account for all of them. Thankfully, Apple does this for us in their network framework. This framework exposes a lot of the moving parts which handles network communication. Yet, what if you just want to reach out on the internet and download a funny cat picture? The last thing you want to be doing is spending hours of your time making your way through pages and pages of technical documentation for a complicated framework. I mean, you're just trying to get a cat picture after all. Thankfully, Apple has come to the rescue with the URL session. This is an API built on top of the networking framework, which handles all the low-level details of communicating across networks while allowing you to control the experience. Prior to URL session, we had to use NSURL connection. And while it got the job done, it was clunky to manage. Doing anything off the beaten path meant writing threading code in the API itself was clunky and unwieldy. It was likely, it was like trying to write an email with a cat on your keyboard. Sure, you could do it, but there's going to be lots of scratching involved. Developers responded to this by creating their own solutions. Back in the old days, most apps included APIs such as Alamo Fire and AFN networking to take the sting out of NSURL connection. Thankfully, Apple did notice. With the release of iOS 7, we got URL session. What used to be a painful experience for making even simple requests became an incredibly easy and intuitive API that makes both your users and most importantly, your cat happy. URL session is a high, level a high level framework that sits on top of the Apple networking stack. This stack itself is highly optimized and designed to work on a variety of network types. If you were to write your own networking library, you would need to account for all these networks as well as the security that comes with accessing them. By using URL session, you get these optimizations for free. Better yet, you don't need to include any unnecessary dependencies into your app to get these features. A URL session can be thought of as a tab in your browser. For instance, when you go to a web page, the browser will make a series of requests to fetch all the assets that contribute to that page. Of course, you'll quickly find that URL session allows you to do more than fetch data. As you'll discover, URL session comes with a variety of tasks to get the job done. Another great feature of URL session is it is you can customize each session based on how you need it to work. For instance, you could have one session download high priority cat images, whereas the other session can run in the background and download any archived images. This course is broken down into five different parts. In one part, you'll learn about concurrency and then you'll learn how to configure URL session and then you'll learn ultimately how to create a data task. Part two covers topics such as caching policies, downloading and downloading and uploading data. Part three shows you how you can download files when your app is in the background, and then how to send messages to a server using WebSockets. Through all these parts, you'll, you will have seen how URL session works with Swift UI. In part four, you'll leverage the power of, com of the combined framework to take URL session to the next level. Finally, in part five, you'll learn about authentication, cookie management, and application transport security. Before you can really leverage URL session, you'll need to have a good understanding of the Swift programming language. This course was written using Swift 5.2 on Xcode 11. If your knowledge is out of date or you need a Swift refresher, definitely check out our Programming in Swift video tutorial course. You'll also need to have a basic understanding of concurrency. Concurrency is a challenging topic, but it's crucial when working over the network. Let's face it, when you're downloading files over the web, you don't want the entire interface to be stuck. Instead, you'll want to download in the background. 
Now, this course does provide a simple refresher, but for a deeper dive, check out our upcoming course on concurrency in this learning path. This course is provided with your subscription, so definitely take a look if you are new to concurrency. Finally, I want to give a big shout out to Martin Bensevik. He was the tech editor for this course as well as on the site. When you have a moment, please give him a follow on Twitter. Okay, time for the show to start. Let's dive into the workings of URL session by first reviewing concurrency.